Hey, Uncle Dick here. You know, I'm enthused about laminating film. I use it on foam planes, and you've seen the video on how to fix a foam plane with laminating film. People are all the time giving me old airplanes to see if I can make them fly. Somebody gave me this old motor glider. It had an 049 motor on it. I don't know, I bet this thing's 30, 40 years old. It is really beat up. It's been wrecked so many times. So I peeled off what monocode I could get. And I've covered it. I thought, let's try this. I've covered it with 4 mil laminating film. Now it goes, it's exactly the same process as putting it on foam. Now if you were doing monocoat, you'd stick it around the edges with the iron. But with this, it is so tough, you can put it on completely with the iron. And you just go over it like this. And it stretches it tight. Now I know this doesn't look very good. Of course you got right now with laminating film you have two choices of colors. Clear and clear. And I couldn't get all of the old monocoat off. I didn't want to put too much extra in it. I didn't know whether this was going to work or not. But I tell you what, it sticks. If you get it stuck to this wood, it's really hard to peel off. And I know it's tougher than monocoat. Okay, now we're going to come up to a compound angle. This is all one piece on the top. This thing was really beat up. It may not be perfect, but so far it's stretched out pretty good. It kind of depends on what's next and how it stretches. I overlapped all the edges about an uh, eighth of an inch. I don't have a lot of experience with monocoat. And I'm guessing it's hard to do a compound angle like this. This thing had about three different colors of monocoat on it. And lots of globs of glue. I repaired what I could, the broken parts that I could find.
Now I think if you held this iron on monocoat this long, you'd probably burn through it. Because of the nature of the way it's made. This is super uneven. Just keep after all that. I mean, this isn't level. It goes up and down and all around. Coming. I don't know about the expense of it. I know you can buy 500 feet of this for about $50 on Amazon. I know the rest of it's not very pretty, but I thought I would just kind of leave it the way it was and see what happens. place right here that's really loose looking. Let's go in on that. Hold it down on it a long time. Go over it. It shrinks up pretty good. Move it around in the light. That took care of that pretty good. place where the rubber band was it's all chewed up. I put some reinforcement in it. I think this wing has been broken on both ends many 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 times. There's a lot of glue underneath this. It's, it sticks to it though if you keep after it. Well, you get the picture. It's possible. It's easy. And I think this was a good experiment. I'll show you what the whole plane looks like when I'm all done with it, but I thought you might like to see this as a little teaser first. 4 mil laminating film on a balsa plane. And I'll tell you what, it is pretty tough. Maybe a little heavier than the other, but who knows. If I find any more little wrinkles, I'll just go over them and they'll come right out. Laminating a balsa wing. I'm going to do the whole plane this way. Uncle Deke out.